Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to upload a piece of art and use it as the basis to create new images. And I'm going to create a whole bunch of stuff just so you can see how you can use it with whatever art that you make. And we can use Midjourney as a tool where we can create and iterate and create new things and develop kind of a a way that we can process artwork and create artwork quickly. So what I've done is I have uh, used a Sharpie on a piece of paper and I just doodled a little scribble and we're going to use that as the basis to create some art. And what I want to do is I want to type in some new prompts. So I'm going to type in um, flower, dog, chicken, and uh, well, that's, we'll do a um, a uh, a tree, okay? Now I'm going to give it some other prompts because we want to use the scribble uh, to form these things, but we have to give Midjourney some prompt clues as to what we want. So we're going to say marker outline uh, drawing. Um, we're going to say um, uh, thick outlines uh, and uh, sketch and what else? Maybe um, casual because we don't want it to be real formal and stiff. Okay. So here's the trick. We type in dash dash S ref, which is the style reference. And then I've gone ahead and I've loaded my sketch drawing. Uh, and that's it. And what I did is I copied the URL uh, of the sketch. And I that's what I just loaded. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some uh, stylization commands. And we're not going to do too many. But I want to show you what 0, 100, 300... Uh, 600 and 1000. So we're going to get uh, one, two, three, four, five variations of a flower, a dog, a chicken, and a tree. So that'll be 20 images of each of the subjects with this little scribble sketch. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is how you can iterate and create some things based on how you draw or based on some other piece of art that you upload. Maybe it's a photograph, maybe it's a uh, uh, a painting, you know, a picture of a painting, whatever. This is how you can use your art to influence what Midjourney creates. So I'm going to hit go. And, uh, and what's happening here is the level of stylization is telling Midjourney, hey, this is my level of go bananas. So what do we want to do? So the lower the number, the closer it is to the prompt. The higher the number, the more freedom Midjourney has to create. And as you can see with uh, the dog here, let's actually scroll down to the flower, right? So when we look at the flower with style zero, it's still kind of a scribbly mess, but when we zoom up here to style 1000, it looks way more refined. So let's, let's just compare, right? So here's like a first one. And if we scroll up to a thousand, right? It looks, it looks a lot more refined as a sketch. And the same thing with the dog. I mean, here's dogs barely look, I mean, this could be something like maybe you draw while you're on the phone, right? But when we go up here to uh, style 1000, right, this could be like something that you might have in your sketchbook, right? So the reason why this is important is because you can use a piece of art. And let me show that real quick. This is the sketch that I, that I, uh, that I drew with a Sharpie and loaded that in. I just took, took a picture with my phone and loaded that in. And then we can use this to kind of moderate what we want. So maybe I want a kind of a sketchy looking flower for something, you know, 
that's based on my sketch. You know, I can use this same sketch prompt over and over and over again. You could make your own library of things like this, whether it's a marker sketch or a pencil sketch or a charcoal sketch or a watercolor painting or whatever it is to kind of modulate what MidJourney's doing for you so you can use this as a way to create and use this as a tool to enhance whatever you're doing. I mean, here's a, check out this chicken, you know, compared to some of these other chickens, right? Um, what do you want, right? This is how you can dial it in. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the MidJourney newsletter where we can give you more ideas about how to mid use MidJourney with whatever you're creating. Uh, thanks a lot. See ya.